Standing in front of this unassuming location in downtown Jacksonville, you wouldn't guess it once housed three Black-owned businesses in the 1860s. But Jacksonville once had the makings of the first Black community in the state. And as a result, Black-owned businesses were a part of Jacksonville's thriving downtown at that time. In 1860, Daniel Jones, a Black man from Pennsylvania who had moved west in search of gold, opened up a barbershop, advertising services like shaving, haircuts, and laundry. A few years later, he moved to Salem, ran a barbershop, attended Willamette University's college prep program, and helped found the first school open to Black students in Oregon. He then became a Methodist minister and later represented Oregon at the 1873 National Civil Rights Convention. While Daniel Jones was making waves in Salem and beyond, the legacy of Black-owned businesses in Jacksonville continued. A Black landowner named Charles Blockwell operated a barbershop in the same space. You could find a boot black shop next door, run by Sam Vose, a formerly enslaved man who traveled along the Oregon Trail before gaining his freedom in Jacksonville. These pioneers helped to build a community despite the challenging environment, and historical records suggest that they were respected members of Jacksonville. Though the structures that housed these businesses burned down, this site still serves as a testament to the black history woven into the fabric of the town, even if it's not immediately visible today.